why are women always talking about how hard it is to be a woman in our society? Great question. Because dudes ain't shit. Okay. I don't know. Why aren't guys allowed to say that women ain't shit? Because that's disrespectful. What if why your mama wasn't shit? Well, once again, then why is it not equally disrespectful to say that dudes ain't shit? If women talk about equality. The gerbil is just you know that's a good question. running around our is head. Is it possible that women <laughs> just want double standards instead of equality? Maybe. So, so what advice would you give to the men who don't trust women? Um. Oh my God. I say, open. Don't don't just let one person, don't let one female fuck up your image for the rest of them. You know, just treat the girl accordingly and go based off of what she shows you. Y'all looking at the thumbnail, y'all looking at the title of the video, y'all already know what time it is. It is time to get active. Shout out to It's Complicated, fantastic YouTube channel, if you guys already didn't know. Just uploaded a video entitled Bisexual, B-U-Y, Rules of Modern Dating and Understanding Women When It's Complicated. I can already tell by the title of the video, this one is going to be a great one. Without further ado! If men typically have to have looks, money, and status in order to attract lots of beautiful women, how is the man not considered the prize? Uh oh! Wow, that was mind blowing. He just mind blowed me. I feel like because for them to have that, they have to pull the woman. So you can't pull the woman without all those things. So you're pulling the prize by having those things. When it comes. By that logic, what she's trying to say is, is that even though he's the prize with all of those things, he's also pulling the prize. So with that logic, both people are the prize. We've talked about this on my channel, ad nauseum, the idea that guys have to create their status. They have to create their utility. They have to create their usefulness. We meanwhile, women are just born into it. And that's just the double standards of society. You know, We don't get angry at that though. As men, we know what we gotta do. When it comes to dating and relationships, who is typically seen as the prize, the man or the Me, woman? Bitch. Yeah, the woman. Wow. Okay, so if the woman is the prize, why even bother going out with a man in the first place? I don't know. <gasps> great logical great conundrum. <laughs> so who's the prize in a lesbian relationship? Both of them? Both of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. oh God. Both be the prize. So then why aren't oh, they both God. the prize in a heterosexual relationship? Because men are down here and women are up here jesus okay. christ misandry alert feminism alert so what they said here is that women are better than men in a relationship they are the prize and then they went on to say well in a homosexual relationship between a woman and a woman they're both the prize and then they came back to well, why they both not the prize in a heterosexual relationship <laughs> women are up here and men are down here unbelievable Okay, so, so are women equal Modern to men or are women superior to men? For sure, superior. superior. Women are superior okay, so to men. Why do women go around saying they want equality when they actually want superiority? Big true. It's just for the look. So people just want to be like, oh, I'm going to go look for this, but they're actually looking okay. for money. What are you why talking it, about? Do you know what the definition of chauvinism is? Chauvinism means one sex thinking they're superior to another. Why is it when men think they're superior, we call it chauvinism, but when women think they're superior, we call it feminism? Uh-oh. That's gonna That's stump them. That's a great question. Wow. That's a good question. Got me stumped there. Yeah. yeah. Are there any double? The, the reason why it stumps them is because they don't go beyond the pandering that's given to them. That example, these young ladies right here demonstrate what I talk about on this channel all the time. This is it. This is the institution of feminism, the institution of women empowerment, the institution of sexual liberation, inflicting onto their young minds. They're brainwashed. They're brainwashed into thinking that they are better than, and then there's nothing wrong with saying that you're better than men. There's nothing wrong with it. So they walk around thinking like this and wonder why that they think that they're all of this in a bag of chips and can't get a man. They, they wonder why. But meanwhile, they consider themselves eight, nines, and tens, but they're four, fives, and sixes. Let's move on. Great. 
Yeah. Are there any double standards in relationships that you can think of you're that your do echo not echo exclusively chamber. favor women? Is none. None. So why none. would a man want to be in a relationship when everything's a double standard and it all favors her? See, that's if you're gonna be in a relationship with any female, make sure she's more bisexual than she is straight. What? Can you elaborate on that? What do you mean? She like bitches more than she like niggas. What? But I'm saying, what's the benefit in that? Why do you believe that? The benefit that in that is, boom, y'all can get bitches together. Aha. Uh -huh. And you ain't got to worry about <laughs> fucking on one pussy and getting bored, because bitches act like pussy don't get old. Pussy get old. I see. Why'd you put that in there, my G? <laughs> why, why? Why'd you put them in there? The f was he talking about in a roundabout way i understand what he's trying to say but that added no value i see jesus christ if someone is dating a bisexual are they more likely to get jealous whenever their lover spends time with their friends i feel like you would be insecure if you you know your significant other liked both gender I, well i don't know <laughs> Okay, jealousy. I think it gives you more options of who you're going to be jealous of. It's not just yeah, like, oh, I think it increases my jealousy. girlfriend likes a guy. I think yeah. it increases insecurity. Is jealousy a turn on or a turn off for you? Oh. Turn on. Oh, She's toxic. Like toxic alert. I don't want to be jealous. Mm -hmm. I want to be confident. You know, no, I love it. Person, no. Let me ask you this. What's the difference between protecting she your woman it. and being possessive? being fucking possessive no i mean isn't there good and bad jealousy like yeah yeah there's controlling and like being manipulative right but that would be you know being possessive and then being protective of your woman is good jealousy wouldn't you agree yeah yes i do agree have any of you ever experimented sexually I, let me just back up for a quick second let me tell you guys it, uh, young ladies that say that they're attracted to jealousy okay these are the by the you know you can fulfill a fantastic threesome relationship with her without a doubt <laughs> without a doubt without a doubt let me just, just keep your ears up all right maybe ask that question at your next date all right are you attracted to jealousy you can start to get some data and some information regarding how they think no, at the same time, though, it is super toxic, right? Like, <laughs> so it's correlated. The ones that you can have the most fun with usually have, like, a little bit more of tortured past, right? Like, they usually say shit like they like toxicity or jealousy or, right? Like, those are the ones that can have the most, you know what I'm saying, in the moment, if not sexual fun with, okay? It's correlated, okay? So going down a straight and narrow path of trying to find good, decent women probably won't be as fun fun, you know what I'm saying? Like, spur the moment. You know, do things ad hoc, you know, that kind of shit off the whim. Trade offs, my G's, trade offs. Life's about, <laughs> life's about choices, decisions, risk, and trade offs. All right? Balance it out. It's good jealousy, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, yes, I do agree. H have any of you ever experimented sexually with another woman? Yes. How'd I know? Yes. Modern okay. ladies. Would you ever date a man who's experimented with another man? No. Okay, do you think women are less inclined to support bisexual men as potential dating prospects? Yes. Would you have a problem seeing a dick after it's been inside another guy's ass? Yes. Definitely. What the fuck? I see. What the fuck? <laughs> no, because, well, maybe, because, like, I've done ass to mouth, but, like, Holy it depends God. on if they cleaned their ass. She a porn star? Can you be more specific? But, like, if you clean your ass before a scene, then maybe I'll, I'll suck. <sighs> Caught. Watch the body language. Well, like if you clean your ass before a scene, then maybe I'll I'll suck a dick after it's been an ass. But then again, I've beat a guy's ass, so don't know if it was clean. Jesus. Is it possible for a bisexual woman to be submissive with a man but dominant with a woman? Yes. It isn't is. it? Isn't that called a switch? I think oh, so. No. Yeah. If men have it easier in society, would you be willing to switch gender roles with a man? No. Why not? No. Pussy is power. Wow. Why are women more likely to switch gender roles with another woman than she would switch gender roles with a man? Again, pussy is power. Okay. I don't know. So if pussy... It, it just amazes me how often um, some of these women refer to their insides as their power. <laughs> 
is that it? Is that is that all that you have that's powerful about you? I, okay, whatever. Yo, imagine imagine dudes say that dick is power. <laughs> I'm like, my eggplant is power. Like, god damn. Like, I I I would be all the things that I bring to a a table, a proverbial table, or an actual table. If dick is just it, then I have failed at life. You, 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 you ever think of it like that? You have failed at life. That's some failure shit. You, you understand that? <laughs> Pussy is power. Why is that a proud statement? Jesus Christ. Pussy is power. Why are women always talking about how hard it is to be a woman in our society? Great question. Because dudes ain't shit. Okay. I don't know. Why aren't guys allowed to say that women ain't shit? Because that's disrespectful. What if why your mama wasn't shit? Well, once again, then why is it not equally disrespectful to say that dudes ain't shit? If women talk about equality. The gerbil is just you know that's a good question. running around her is head. Is it possible that women <laughs> just want double standards instead of equality? Maybe. So, so what advice would you give to the men who don't trust women? Um. Oh, my God. I'd say... Open, don't don't just let one person, don't let one female fuck up your image for the rest of them. You know, just treat the girl accordingly and go based off of what she shows you. You are not- <laughs> Can't make this shit up. You just said that ain't shit. And your advice to men who think women ain't shit it's to not take one example and use it against the whole, but you just said. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, this shit makes my head hurt. <laughs> Yo, this shit make Carly. Carly, this shit make my goddamn head hurt. Holy moly. You know what though? I don't I don't know. I you know, someone who just says pussy is power, like it's it's not it's intellect is not the it's not on the menu. You know what I'm saying? Like any young lady that puts their first name on their chest, I couldn't expect much more of a response um, than what we just heard. I think it's the name on a chest mixed with the eyelashes between the two. I'm just like, OK, I, I, I get it. How <laughs> my man, I see can back you into a logical corner or conundrum that you don't even realize you just said. You don't even realize it. Let's move on. Is it generally true that men seek the hottest woman they can afford while women seek the richest man they can attract? Uh, I'd say generally, yes, that is true. So don't men want sure. trophy wives while women want sugar daddies? Uh, I'd say that, yeah, guys do like someone that they can probably show off. They care about looks more than money and they the do. opposite for girls. What do you think, Tim? I mean, personally, I think personality matters, but girls do chase the money. And I've heard it first person, like girls care about money. So how is dating not just a loose form of prostitution? Uh oh. I mean, that's a good question. I mean, it is. I'd say it's like consensual prostitution in a way. Yeah. Okay. Well, why don't we just? Well, look- it's it's consensual in a, in in a in an idea that um, if you're a dude who's dating and you're smart, you know one of the fundamental rules of dating, which is you can increase the level of attraction that a woman has to you by making her invest into the relationship. Now, most of the investment is usually done from a time perspective, but it could also be a money investment as well. Okay. Increase the level of investment. If it's just you doing, 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 uh uh-uh, that's not how you do it. You make them invest their time and or money into it to a degree, and it'll raise their level of attraction. But if you're dating and you're paying everything just to smash, right? If you're not dating for a relationship, then yeah, it's essentially that exchange. It's consensual prostitution. Legalize it if it's already happening. Um, maybe because it entice like trafficking and stuff like that. So I'd say there's probably like a bad side if you just call it prostitution. Um, it's more of like a social, like, it's accepted socially to say it's dating instead of prostitution. What are your thoughts on the expression, every man pays for sex? Like when a guy's at a bar and he's buying a girl drinks, he's not doing that because he likes you or like knows anything about you. He wants to take you home. Okay. So do you feel like uh, a guy can't just like genuinely buy you a drink without like no. a woman thinking that there's a I mean, secret no. agenda or? No, I think a guy can buy you a drink. I think there's some guys that are going out without any wrong intentions. I think there are some people that just want to go out for the time and talk to people. I don't think it always means that they want to have sex That's with right. you and take you home. Depends on the person. If I find it so interesting how many um, 
modern ladies today describe wanting to buy, you know, drinks um, to get to know someone to, you know, eventually get them in the sack is wrong. Like what, what, I don't understand what is so wrong with that. Is it the idea that you don't know their intentions? Well, I think most women today should consider the intentions of why a guy is doing that, right? Like he's, he's not just doing that because, you know, he just wants to do that. Like he's investing into something. So to not expect that there's something that he's looking for out of that or to say that, well, him doing that is wrong. I think it's, it's so interesting to hear them articulate that, especially when you consider my thing is I think women are as horny and want it just as much as men. It's just what's marketed to us is that men are the aggressive ones or men want it more. Men think about sex every eight or something seconds like that. But it's just interesting when you see them in public talking about that, but like, yeah, that's not how they act when the doors are closed. I'm trying to tell you. Guy wants to have sex with you eventually. Is that is that necessarily the wrong intentions? Well, how would I know if he eventually wants to have sex with me? Well, wouldn't he be talking to you for he's not any talking other to reason other than the fact I'm that I'm not going to yes. assume that a man. No, a guy would talk to you other than sex. Yes. Well, well, no, I'm just saying, isn't that typically why guys she, approach women? Is that they eventually want to get sex? She's got I it back. agree with that. I do. Yeah. That's yeah, she agrees. <laughs> well, well, okay, do, do you do you do you believe that men initially do really nice things for women because they eventually want sex? Yes, off the bat, <laughs> maybe. I'd rather pay a prostitute so she leaves when we're done, rather than sit here and put a bunch of money into a chick and then taking her out for nice dinners, buying her shit, and you get the same result in the end anyway. She's well, go ahead. What is the yeah, I'll be between? honest. I think prostitution should be legal at this point. I mean, with the proliferation of like only like all this digital shit, I think just make it legal like all these other countries. I don't understand. The only reason why I think that it is illegal is because um, people, they, they need a law and a statute for people who do it on the street, which I think should be illegal. I don't think it should be in public. I don't think it should be in public. But I, I, I think that, you know, have full service bars for it, just like they did, you know, back in the olden days. You know what I'm saying? Or just like they do overseas. So do you think it's generally true that it's men confusing. seek trophy wives? and women seek sugar daddies? Definitely. So how is dating not just a loose form of prostitution? Uh, it's a business, that's for sure. Transaction? Transaction, no. Don't a lot of men mm -hmm. want trophy wives while a lot of women want sugar daddies? Yes, yes. Yeah. yeah. So how is dating not just a loose form of prostitution? <laughs> Got him. <laughs> I mean, I don't Whoa. date. Well, I'm what's, not a date. what's the I difference mean, between a sugar baby, a prostitute, and a gold digger? These girls give me Midwest vibes. Get money. A uh, prostitute is someone who's strictly sex for money. A gold digger is strictly a uh, trophy wife for money, basically. And sugar baby is someone who just gets money and has if they have to do a couple things for it, then they do a couple things for it. But that comes with no strings attached, so there's no like. What do they all have in common? Sex. Sex for resources, right? Yeah. Okay, so how is dating not just a loose form of prostitution? I guess it is. Ideally, it wouldn't be, but I mean, if women are in for the money. I mean. Okay, so why don't we just legalize it if it's already happening? That's a great question. Maybe a sugar baby is that it's more like That's longer what I'm term and kind of like drawn out. Well, prostitution's maybe like a one night thing. And then you know what's crazy too is um, I think if you legalize it, um, I'm gonna stop the video right here because I want you guys to go over there and, and watch the channel. There's still a lot of content left. I think if you legalize it, it probably form better relationships because just like the title of this channel is complicated. I think most of the issues that happen in a dating ecosystem is you know lack of communication, like lack of dudes, you know, stating that they just want the butt. And then lack of communication of actually women saying that either they just want the money or the butt or whatever it is that is set up or what the two people want within said relationship. So if dudes had an option, all right, to get what it is, whatever they want, as women now have an option to go up on these sugar daddy websites and legally right join the sex industry <laughs> right then i think that you could tip the scale a little bit more evenly because right now women have all these other options that he talk about the only fans you know the sugaring websites these these websites where they can sell their bath water and feet pictures and shit like that so they're getting kind of this financial benefit but then dudes still have you know 
uh, it's illegal for dudes to do, you know, get sexual gratification, right? So my thing is just make it le uh, legal. It, it would even out the playing field even more so, right? And then you'd have less people dating with a lapse of communication, right? Because I feel like that's where a lot of it comes from is dudes not being upfront with all that they want is a ROI and then women just having unfathomable amount of dating options more than they've ever had before, you know, through Tinder, Instagram, like all of these different things. And then being able to just be flaky, <laughs> like, and then the dudes get upset and the woman, you know, might get upset because of something that the, because the dude just wanted. But I mean, it's just a, it's complicated. That's the name of the channel. And it makes complete no sense. The more that he asks these different types of questions, but I think it gives us the opportunity to look 30,000 feet above kind of the environment that we are in and really logically come at these points. You know what I mean? So, so again, shout out to It's Complicated. Again, it's entitled Bisexual, B-U-Y. I'll leave a link to it down in the description box down below. Make sure you guys go over there and finish out the content, all right? Questions, comments, concerns? God already know what to do. Me over to Torres and Reviews at gmail.com. The beginning of the video was absolutely outrageous. <laughs> all those modern, those modern ladies just... How do you guys just feel so comfortable saying that you're superior than men? It's absolutely absurd. It's absolutely ridiculous. But I'm glad that we have a platform to be able to call the bullshit out because it's not true. Sorry. Until next time, YouTube.